Millie and welcome back to um, a slash name Millie and Chloe DIY. Like this is not Millie and Chloe DIY, you can probably do a DIY too. Okay. Hey guys, it's Millie and welcome back to our YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm doing three different things with bleach. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm going to be showing you guys how to like spiral bleach dye, which is like what this top looks like. And then I'm also going to be using like the splotchy method. I'm not too sure what it's called, but it ends up looking like this, which is really pretty. And then finally, I'm going to be bleaching a pair of jeans. But what I'm doing is I'm like bleaching like only one leg. So it's like half white, half blue, which I think is really cool. I've seen them on TikTok. Let's get on into the video. So I'm going to start with bleaching my jeans. So all you need for this is obviously an old pair of jeans. And then I've just got some painter's tapes and I'm just going to use this to like tape off the sections that I don't want to get bleach on. And then I have this bleach, but it's actually toilet cleaner. If you're going to get a toilet cleaner, you, may, you need to make sure it has sodium hypochlorite so that it has bleach in it. And this is just like gel and it also has a nozzle so it's like easy to use and like spread out. So with the painter's tape, I'm just going to tape off the edges so that the bleach doesn't bleed onto them. Over. So this is just what I've done. Tape the edges and if you want to keep the pocket blue, so say if this was the bleach side and you want to keep the pocket blue, you just tape over the pocket but I'm fine with just having that bleached too. And then the other side is taped as well. So now that I've sticky taped it, I'm actually going to put the leg that I'm going to keep denim into a plastic bag just to make sure it doesn't get any bleach on it. All I'm going to do is just pour my bleach onto the leg and just rub it in. Oh my gosh. And when I get to the sides with the tape, I'm just going to be careful next to them. Make sure you get in all the little cracks because you don't want any weird looking denim -y bits. So I finished bleaching this side of the leg and now I'm just going to flip it over and I'm going to try not to get this in any bleach. Okay, now I'm moving on to this side of the leg. bleaching this leg and I've heard some people say you're meant to let it sit for like two hours and then other people say like five hours so I'm not too sure but while we wait for that to just bleach I'm going to move on to my spiral top. So to make a spiral top like the one I'm wearing obviously you'll need a top bleach. Now this is actually a different bleach to the jean ones. This is disinfectant bleach cleaner and I just think this one is a bit more liquidy so it's easy to like spread over the whole top and we've put it into this mayo bottle because the actual like nozzle of this is like quite thick and this one's a bit more precise so it's like easier to like get into the small spaces and then you need three elastic bands. For this like bleaching method you actually want to wet your t-shirt And I'm just going to squeeze out some of the water so it's just damp. So to create the spiral pattern, you just want to pinch the center of the top and just slowly twist it really tightly. Like so. And then with your three elastic bands, you want to divide the top into like six sections. We'll just check the other side. 
satisfied. So you want to have this in six sections because when you actually put the bleach on, you want to only do it in like three of the little triangles. So you just want to take your bleach and put it in the alternating sections. And since this is one isn't too liquidy, you also need to like put it in the gaps. Like so, actually putting it in. Oh no, 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 no. I think it'll be okay. Make sure you get it in all the gaps. So now turn it over and do the other side, but make sure you're keeping track of which sections you've dyed so that you don't accidentally dye the other ones. So then you just want to let it sit until you can see that it's like started bleaching and to the colour you like. So it's been around one hour and the jeans are actually looking really good. As you can see, there's definitely discoloration. And I think they're a bit bluey because like the bleach we use had like a blue tinge, but once we wash that out, I think they'll be white. So to get a splotchy bleach look like this top, I've got a pair of trackies. Just wanna go from the bottom of the pants and just kind of scrunch in like a random sort of way. And then the other leg. And I'm just gonna put on some elastics to keep it in place. We're just going to take the bleach once again and just kind of pour it all over. If you've got a more liquidy bleach, it'll probably bleed better. But since my bleach is quite thick, I will have to like pour it in a little bit. To let the crap. See, it's starting to work already. Rubbed in all the bleach, once again you want to let it sit. As you can see, this is definitely already starting to go orange because black when bleach goes on it goes orange and the beds are kind of falling off, but I'm just gonna let this sit and it'll be ready very soon. So it's about an hour and 45 minutes since I've done the jeans and you can definitely see a color change. And they look a bit like tealy in real life, but I saw one girls on YouTube and like the teal came out. So hopefully these go white. If not, I'll do another layer of bleach. And then this is the spiral top. Now this top I tried to do and for some reason it just won't bleach. So there's obviously a type of material that doesn't take bleach. So I just used the exact same method on this top and it's like dark blue. So it's gone like reddish, which is quite cool. And then these are the trackies. So I'm really excited to see what the designs turned out like. So we'll see how the spiral top turned out. Oh, that's quite cute. As you can see, the spiral. And then the trackies. So I've advanced in all places. Get those off. And these ones are splotchy and they look really cool too. So what we're gonna do now is wash all these things together so the bleach rinses out. Just rinse the jeans to get rid of the excess bleach, <laughs> as you can see by all the suds down there. And I'm just gonna put these into the washing machine by themselves because the other ones will like bleed in color when I rinse them. So we'll see how these go. <laughs> so this is what the final jeans look like. I'm actually obsessed with these. As you can see where I had the tape, the seam actually worked really well. A few spots where the bleach got onto the other side, but you can barely even see it. So this is the top that I used the spiral bleach method on. See, I originally did it on this top, but it just didn't show up, the bleach. So I quickly did this top to show you guys, and I think it worked pretty cute. 
Um, since it's dark blue, the colours did go red. And as you can see, it's like quite a big spiral. See, I personally think if you're going to do like a spiral design, it's best to have like a liquid bleach that you can kind of spray on. Because since mine was a bit thicker, I actually had to like rub it in and it kind of got everywhere. So if it was just like a liquid, like water consistency bleach, it would be the best. But this is the top. It's pretty cute. But if I want, I can also like tuck it up so that it becomes like a crop top. I can also wear the top like this. I think it looks really cute this way and a bit more like fancier. So I think that's really cute. But overall, I actually like this top. I think it worked really well. Obviously, if you do your spiral tighter and you have a more like liquidy bleach, it'll probably turn out like the one I was wearing just before, like the black one with the orange. But this one is quite a bit like a big spiral, but I still think it's really cute. So these are the final trackies. They look pretty cool. They kind of look like geodes, except the thing is, you kind of need to think about where you're going to like put the tie dye because it kind of looks like you're going to have an accident in your pants, if you know what I mean. Um, also kind of looks a bit like coffee stains. But it's pretty cool. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. It was really fun to do. I absolutely love everything that I made. I think this top is really cute. I'm absolutely obsessed with the jeans. And I would definitely be wearing the trackies a lot. Just as a quick tip at the end, I definitely think you need different types of bleaches for everything. For the jeans, you need something slightly thicker so it can be more controlled. And then for the spiral, you probably need something a bit more liquidy. So with that in mind, have fun bleaching and show me what you make. Tag us on Instagram at Millie underscore and underscore Chloe and follow us on all the rest of our socials, which will be linked down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!